In this tutorial, you will learn how to make this 3D cylindrical bar graph in Microsoft Excel. I will teach you an easy method for creating this graph. You can see here I, we have data of uh, sale target achievement of four different uh, persons. You can see here this uh, column shows the target achieved and I have uh, developed three different other columns. One is for uh, remaining target and other for extra space for this lid and this bottom. So let's start how to create this in Microsoft Excel. So you can see here that I have already entered this data to save time and this is the target achieved by this person. Firstly, I will uh, calculate the remaining target for this simply uh, equal sign one minus select this one and press enter and it, it will automatically calculate the remaining target. You can also uh, repeat this step for remaining three persons. So as I already explained that for lid and bottom, we will add a support column on both sides for five percent. I will also add five percent. So this five percent is for this uh, lid of this cylinder and this bottom of this cylinder. Firstly, I will uh, form the bar graph for Ali. So select this data. Go to insert tab. And here you will find two options. First one is the stocked column chart and other is the 3D 100% stocked column chart. Remember that uh, we will select the 3D stock column chart. Then select this one and switch rows to column option. Press this one. Go to plus sign and uncheck all these. Next go to format and here you will change the dimension of this graph 4.5 by 2.5. 4.5. 2.5 drag this according to your requirement where you want to see it then in shape field I will select no fill shape outline no outline select this upper one right click and go to format data series here you will select this cylinder option in, in you can see series option you will select this cylinder option so you can see here that its shape is changed now now we will continue uh, formatting of this graph go to 3d effect and here in top barrel select round convex and in select bottom and in bottom barrel select round convex next change the color of this go to fill and line option solid fill and from here i will select black for lid and black for bottom For this one, I will select white and for this one, solid fill and uh, this one. So we have uh, successfully found one cylinder. Next, we will repeat this step for second one. go to insert chart 3d stock chart switch row to column then it's format 4.5 2.5 then second uncheck all axes chart title and grid lines drag this to here and here I will select no fill and no outline.
select this go to our this option select cylinder and in 3d effect top barrel and round convex similarly select bottom and in bottom barrel select round convex now select these and change their color go to fill and line option solid fill and here i will select black one also for bottom solid fill and black then select this one and select white color and here i will select solid fill you can also choose uh, the color according to your requirement or according to your desire so for timing i will select this one so i will uh, drag it uh, here you can also repeat uh, this step for remaining 2% in order to save time i have already created the bar chart for yasser and asif so i will use those graphs next i will start little bit formatting adjust their spaces so it uh, looks good next go to insert tab and here from shape select this rectangle so we will form this rectangle here fill option solid fill and black color and uh, it will i will give some 3d effect to it after that select this line and place it here go to send backward option and here select send to back you can see here line appear at the back of these cylinders next we will further format it go to insert and here you will select the text box put equal sign and i will firstly uh, i leave 40 percent select this 40 percent press enter and in middle change its font size and font style next in format option i will select no fill and no outline copy this 
and paste here drag this to here After that, uh, this is 40% next, I will change this one, here I will change this 50%, press enter and format it. change its color immediately I will format this one firstly I will write the value uh, select after putting equal sign select the cell and press enter and now format this 18 and bold change its color to blue one as according to cylinder color next this one after equal sign select fourth one target achieved press enter and here i will change its font size to this one and bold 18 and change its color to pink next copy this and paste here drag this to required location here I will write the name of persons so select this one you can see in formula bar it's appear this cell but i want to write name of ali so i will remove this and after the equal sign select this press enter similarly for this one i will select second name and press enter for third one you can also write the number of this cell So it, it is S5, I think it will be S6. Select this one and here you will change S6, I think. No. It is equal sign plus equal sign and here we will select this one its number is a6 press enter and its name will be appeared here so i have not selected this one first select this one then press equal sign and here we will select the name asif then press enter it is s6 s a s6 
so here asaf name is appeared so we will format it black color Like sixteen. Similarly, I will format this name. Now adjust their locations. If you want to group these one, you can also select these. right click and here you can group so these are also become one figure after forming this go to insert and in shape option select uh, this one so we will Shape fill, I will select white. Shape outline red. And shape effect, I will go to this. Shadow option and select. In it now send backward option go to send backward option in format tab and select send to back so finally we have completed the formatting of this graph if you want want to check either this graph is interactive or not you can change this value for example i will change this 40 percent to 70 percent You can see here its value and graph is also changed. Similarly, if you change in, you will change the name of this. This name is changed here. So after forming this graph, you can change any value and its gra graph will be automatically changed. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Goodbye.